Yeah, come on, show us. You've got dinosaur teeth in your pockets, don't you? Okay, well... Um, he does. He carries dinosaur teeth with him see. everywhere. This is strange. This one's my favorite. This ah, is, uh, there it is. Spinosaurus tooth. What's going on, Coyote Pack? And welcome to another episode of Base Camp. And this one's special because it's all about dinosaurs. Yes, I love dinosaurs. I know you love dinosaurs, and so does Mark, but where's Mark today? I don't know. Was he supposed to be here? Uh, actually, Mark is out on a location scouting trip right now, checking out some top secret new spots for us to film, but I have a feeling that on the side, he's probably also looking for fossils. You think so? Mm. Can I go look for fossils? No, no, no. We got to stay here. We got to do some work today. And the first thing we're going to look at is some of the Coyote Pack fan art. Yeah. Now, we have not gotten any Beyond Dinosaurs fan art yet. Ooh. Guys, hint, hint, make us some dinosaur fan art. But hold on, before you okay. show that, check this out. Ooh. You see that? That's, those are dinosaurs. These are dinosaurs, yeah. and these came from Lucas Tuggle. Lucas, buddy, you sent us your toy dinosaurs. That's How awesome. cool is that? Now, Lucas says, Dear Coyote, I hope you like this dinosaur. I thought you could use it for your new show. From Lucas Tuggle. Nice. He also wanted to say hi to you and Mark as well. Oh, excellent. Well, how Lucas? thoughtful is that? He sent us... His toy dinosaur. That's awesome. We got a Ceratopsian in here. Yep, and of course, a T-Rex, which nice. as he knows is one of our favorites, right? Would, would you give up your toys? No, as a matter of fact, this is my favorite T-Rex toy <laughs> from when I was a kid. I've had this since I was in sixth grade, and I'll tell you what, it takes a lot to give away one of your favorite toys. So Lucas, Thank we you. greatly appreciate that, and they are totally gonna go on the base camp set. Awesome. Now, let's see if we can get them to just hang out here during this episode. How about that? Nice. All right, what else you got there, Mario? Ooh, check this out. I like this Some one. Some nice art from Elizabeth from Queensland, Australia. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Nice. It looks like a caiman. I think it is. Right? You see the little spectacles on yeah. top there? I'm pretty sure it's a spectacled caiman, but the reason we picked this one is because crocodilians are descendants of the dinosaurs. Yeah, right? It's kind of got that dinosaur theme. Crocodilians look like dinosaurs, right? Right. They've been on the planet for over 240 million years, so they awesome. lived during the time of the dinosaurs, which seemed fitting, right? Yeah. Well, thank you, Elizabeth. This one's awesome. Yeah, very cool. All right, bring yep. that back over here. This is gonna hang up on the base camp set. Like I said, guys, we don't have any official Beyond Dinosaurs artwork yet, so send it to the P.O. box. We keep getting messages from the post office. I know yeah. I've, I've mentioned this before. We get these messages <laughs> like, guys, can you, can you run a different post office box? Can you get another one? Because it keeps overflowing and they have to put them in those yeah, bins. Yeah, it sounds like a dumb problem. Yeah, that's right. pretty much what I would say. <laughs> Guys, make as much fan art as you can and send it to the P.O. Box. Absolutely. That address is in the About section of this video. Awesome. But let's talk dinosaurs. You ready? Of course. I'm always ready to talk dinosaurs. We worked with Pete Larson, oh, world-renowned paleontologist. Mario, how is that? Crazy, right? Well. Before we even worked with him, we were pre-production and trying to get in contact with Pete, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember the first email I sent out, I was like, hey Pete, this is Brave Wilderness. We love what you do. You know, we want to work with you someday. And a few weeks later, we got a response. Right. And I was like, Coyote, we got Pete. But then there was like silence for a little while, and then we got the call. Right, we got the call that was, Hey, love what you guys are doing. Come down and film at the Black Hills Institute whenever it's convenient yeah. for you guys. And we're running around the office screaming, we got Larson, we got Larson. Like that scene from Jurassic yeah, Park. And yeah. we're like, Dodson, we got Dodson here. But trust us, we really cared. Now, before we visited the Black Hills Institute, we needed to do some pre-production. And to do that, you got some books. Yeah, we wanted to make sure we look good in front of Pete in terms of knowing our stuff. Yes. So we got some uh, books. Um, these are actually field guides. Isn't that kind of weird? Yeah, dinosaur field guides. Dinosaur field guides. It's kind of like if you have a reptile and amphibian field guide and right. you go out and you look for the species. These are kind of uh, mimicking that, but with dinosaurs. Of course, we're not seeing any real dinosaurs out there no. at this point, but when you're looking for fossils, it can be pretty helpful to know, you know, what time period certain dinosaurs lived in, whether it's the Triassic, Jurassic, or Cretaceous. Sure. And certainly when talking with Pete, we wanted to be on point when it yeah. comes to naming dinosaur species. Yeah, so we, we got these great books and we read through them and uh, got a lot of great info, some stuff that I've forgotten in the past that I've known since I was little, but when you get older, you kind of forget things. And uh, this, <laughs> and then this one here has a bunch of really cool dinosaur species I didn't even know of. There's actually like thousands of dinosaurs described. Did you know that? 
Yes, and I probably know 25 of them. <laughs> so before we went to go work with Pete at the Black Hills Institute, we definitely needed to spiff up on our dinosaur facts. Yeah, you know, we wanted to impress Pete, even though he's just a wealth of information and everything he was saying was impressing me. I mean, he's talking about Tyrannosaur this, Tyrannosaurus Rex that, and it's just amazing to be with this renowned expert. Well, when you think about it, you, you say Tyrannosaurus Rex expert. How is anyone a Tyrannosaurus Rex expert? But when you're talking about Pete Larson, of the 40 most important Tyrannosaurus Rex skeletons that have mm -hmm. ever been dug up, Pete has been a part of 10 of those digs, including Sue and Stan. I say that makes you an expert. Yeah, and as <laughs> you guys know, Sue currently resides at the Chicago Field Museum and Stan is at the Black Hills Institute. And speaking of Stan, we got to hold Stan's biggest tooth. Now, yeah. that was a big part of that episode, me getting to hold that fossil, which you know is 67 to 66 million years old. I mean, that dagger, that thing, how many triceratops had that tooth killed? Right, it's mind boggling. Uh, you know, I, I got to hold, Mark and I got to hold the mm -hmm. uh, tooth as well. And I, I, I will say I was kind of emotional. Yeah. Right, I mean, we're holding this piece of history prehistoric history and the weight of it and the serrations, everything about it just basically transformed me into a little kid. Yeah. I just felt like I was a little kid absorbing this magnificent tooth. Right, like the <laughs> most precious item any of us had ever held. And, and I think Pete said it in the episode, you know, he's like, oh, there's about 30 people that have held it. And what we ultimately deduced it down to is that we were 30, 31, and, and Mark was the 32nd person to ever hold the tooth of that dinosaur. That's priceless. I think more yeah. people have held the Declaration of Independence than have held What's that, that T-Rex tooth. <laughs> yeah, it was it was an incredible artifact and such a yeah. cool thing for us to be able to hold that and for Pete to let us hold that. And you know, we entered into the enclosure with Stan Skull and just to see his collection at the Black Hills Museum is is unlike anything. Pete took us in, he was accommodating. You know, he felt it seemed like he was a kid as well. Like his enthusiasm yeah. was just as high as ours, yeah, which was is, amazing. Pete is a big kid at heart, that's yeah. for sure. Even when we're joking around. So uh, you like dinosaur teeth a lot. I do. I like dinosaur teeth. You probably have some dinosaur teeth in your pockets, don't you? You think so? Dinosaur teeth? Yeah, come on, show us. You've got dinosaur teeth in your pockets, don't you? Okay, well... He does. He carries dinosaur teeth with him see. everywhere. This is strange. When we go through airport security and he's got to put his vest on the belt, they're like, we're going to have to search this and... What's that? A Mosasaur tooth? That's a Mosasaur tooth. No That's a deal. Mosasaur tooth. That's one. What else you got? Come on, cough it up. Um, Come on. See. He's got more teeth, guys. Mosasaur tooth. Uh, it's not dinosaur, but it's a Megalodon. Megalodon tooth. That's two. What yeah. else? Come on, be honest. Okay, okay. Let's He's got see. one more. I know. This one's my favorite. This ah, is, uh, there it is. Spinosaurus tooth. <laughs> Spinosaurus tooth as well. Three dinosaur teeth. Who has this? Only you. Yeah, like well, a big kid. It's fun. But we did joke around with Pete, and I did try to steal Stan's tooth. I was like, <laughs> Pete, look over there. And then I walked in the opposite direction. And he's like, You put that tooth back. Yeah. But oh my gosh, it's so cool. That tooth is so cool. And you're very nervous when you yes. hold it. I was nervous. I mean, even when I was joking, I'm like walking away. You don't move your arms. You're almost like a gimbal. You're, you're like, like, oh. It's like holding a baby, yes. right? Like, you're kind of like, uh, what do I do, what do I do? I'm more careful <laughs> with that tooth than I am when I hold a baby. I've yeah. held babies, many babies. Well, my own baby when my daughter was much younger. But yes, that tooth is like holding yeah. the most precious baby. Sure. Yeah, for real. Okay, so the first episode was fantastic and we focused on Tyrannosaurus Rex. And then the second episode got us into what we considered the fossil's journey. I know some people wrote in the comments section, are you guys gonna bring back dinosaurs like they did in Jurassic World? Maybe. Not yet. Not yet. We're not doing a real good job at over here at the Brave Wilderness Studios <laughs> cloning any dinosaurs. Um, what we wanted to do was bring paleontology more to the forefront um, with this series. It's such a fascinating science and you don't realize how much work it takes to extract fossils from the ground and get them to museum presentation status. Absolutely. I think I've learned a lot during this uh, segment so far and, and some of the uh, series that we've filmed so far. I've learned the process of going out into the field and finding the fossils, what to look for, bringing them back to the lab. The You know, they, they don't know any of this yet. Oh, they don't? No. Oh. They've only seen two episodes. Oh. Sneak peek alert. So Stay tuned. Yes, yeah, stay <laughs> tuned. You can't give away everything yet. I mean, but with the second episode, we did see what it looks like for fossils to be entombed in the yes. matrix and what it takes for them yes. to come out of the matrix. I mean, essentially, we take it for granted, I think, going to a museum and seeing these wonderful displays. Mm -hmm. And whether it's the smallest to the largest display, 
it takes a lot of work to get to that point. So you gave away a little bit of a sneak peek, but we also sneak peeked in the end of episode two, yeah. where we are going to go out into the field working alongside Pete to dig up fossils. And man, it is, I think it's my favorite episode so far that, that we filmed. It was, Yeah. I don't want to give away too much. It's hard to not give away too much here. We'll have to wait for you guys to see that episode, which comes out in just a couple days. But it was so much fun getting to work alongside Pete and just learn all that we learned in those couple of days. Absolutely. I felt like Dr. Island Grant. I mean, we had all our gear on. We're out in the Badlands. Cooking in the Badlands. Yeah. And just the concept of we're walking around this area that's millions of years old mm -hmm. and the, the stuff we're picking up could be a fossil. Mm -hmm. You didn't know. And that was really exciting. Yeah. So that episode is coming up soon, guys. Stay tuned for that. And I think we have another sneak peek down there, don't we, oh. Mario? Oh, actually we, got we a, do. got a box there, right? Now, mm. we've done a couple of unboxing videos before on the channel, but this one says do not crush extra fragile, fragile. handle with care. We're not going to tell you anything more about that, but there is going to be another Beyond Dinosaurs Base Camp unboxing edition coming up soon. But we got to wait for Mark before we can film that. Well, one. let's just say it's, uh, it's maybe 35 million years old. Ooh, 35 million <laughs> years old. Okay, put it down. It looks heavy. Right. I don't want to break it. All right, guys. So we've also launched the at Beyond Dinosaurs TV Instagram account. Yes. We've been trying to grow this account. So if you aren't following yet, go follow the Beyond Dinosaurs Instagram account. Yeah, I put a little logo of it up there um, because we'll be posting all sorts of cool behind the scene photos, stuff that we're not sharing on the normal Brave Wilderness or Coyote Peterson yep. social media feeds. Um, some cool behind the scenes videos, cool photos and all that sort of good stuff. Yeah, you know, we're gonna really have fun with this. I think Coyote and I and, and the crew, our love of dinosaurs since we were younger is, is rejuvenated, right. at least for me. Mm -hmm. Like I definitely see my childhood um, enthusiasm coming back right and um, you know the Instagram will be a great platform for us to just have cool dinosaur facts mm -hmm. and dinosaur pictures and you know whatever uh, catches our attention which is it's important to note guys that your influence is greatly going to affect the direction of this series now we picked working with Pete Larson to launch the series um, where we got lots of cool stuff, lots of great insight. But what is your favorite museum? What's your favorite dinosaur? What is the location that you want us to sure. go to search for fossils at? You know, yeah. like, you guys suggest us where you want us to film more episodes and we're going to do it. Absolutely. Yeah, there's tons of dig sites throughout the U.S. actually that a lot of amateur paleontologists visit. And if you know one, let us know. We'll love to visit it. Or if you're a paleontologist yourself or you work at a museum, reach out. Let us know what sort of cool stuff's behind the scenes that we can feature and promote your organization or some of the research that you're doing, and we'll certainly get it on the Brave Wilderness channel. Absolutely. Sound pretty good, right? Yeah. All right, guys, remember, right in the comments section below, tell us what do you like so far about Beyond Dinosaurs, what more do you want to see, and definitely go follow the Instagram account. I'm Coyote Peterson. I'm Ariel Decoa. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next Base Camp Adventure. Right. Play with these dinosaurs. Yeah. Do you want to become an official member of the Coyote Pack? If so, make sure to pick up your starter kit, which includes the iconic pack tag, adventure guide, and of course, the one and only Brave Crew bracelet. The Coyote Pack starter kit is the best way to show the world that you are one of the pack, and it's available right now. Hey, Coyote Pack, if you love dinosaurs, I bet you are excited for the upcoming premiere of Jurassic World Explorers. If you missed the official announcement, make sure to go back and watch the episode where we debut the YouTube World exclusive for Dinosaurs Rule Again. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next big adventure.